Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am exhausted. Like this week has been so busy. It's Thursday today. It's really not the end of our work week, but um, it's the last day of the week that Emily works with us. So we like try to just get most of our stuff done between Monday and Thursday. And then Friday is just kind of like leftover stuff that I don't know. We just can't. Friday's upload day. Friday's upload day. We do that and whatever's left over from the week we do on try Fridays. Up, yeah. We try to wrap it up. I'm just so dead because we've had a very busy week. Yesterday, was it yesterday? It was two days ago. A couple days ago. We had a full so shoot day in patch. Dallas. I didn't, oh actually I did vlog a little bit because we took Elena to the pumpkin patch. We came to the pumpkin patch. It's the Arboretum in Dallas and it is so gorgeous. But you guys, yeah. it's 90 degrees and I'm it's wearing so leather knee high We're drenched in sweat. It's terrible. <laughs> and we took pictures and everything. And we're wow. just sweating. <laughs> it's kind of miserable, but it's so pretty. So let me show you what it looks like. The theme this year is bugs. It's called Bugtopia. So they have like all these huge it's like spider spiders and ants. I don't know. It looks like it's so scary. <laughs> they must have thousands of pumpkins here you guys but it's so pretty this is probably one of the prettiest pumpkin displays in the country i'm not even kidding they have this butterfly here we're gonna try to take a picture of elena in front of it let me see you baby girl oh that's so cute my butterfly okay i have to get a picture like that it's really cute The pumpkin patch was super fun, but it was a, really just a full shoot day. Today, we actually just finished packing for Vermont, so I'll insert that footage as well. We're leaving for Vermont on Saturday, and it is, like I said, it's Thursday, so we have a couple more days to get everything ready, but at least all of my clothes are packed. I still have to do like all my toiletries and makeup, Elena's diapers. Oh gosh, where is where are those gonna fit? You don't I think have room for them? I didn't save any room for them. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to bring another suitcase. We need three big suitcases, but we only oh, have two no. big suitcases. You can't do three big suitcases. Well, it's so much because I have all of our boots and coats and that's taking up all the room. You I was are. actually about to buy like these, the ones that like oh, take all the air out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we need that. We I should have that. gotten that. We need that so we can vacuum pack all this stuff. I think it's a little too late for that now. <laughs> Lord help us. And and don't forget the camera gear too. You still have the camera gear. Yeah. Oh, that's a whole oh nother bag. <laughs> okay. You guys, we need prayers for this and trip. My leg is so messed up, guys, by the way. Oh my my surgery is not for another two weeks. So, so in I'm gonna have to actually carry stuff this time. No, I'm just kidding. I always actually nah, carry she it. Uh, yes, I do. She's not a lot to I do help, but what are you saying? Oh, my. my sister Amanda put together that TikTok and they were making fun of me and it was actually my idea. I was like, oh let's just say that I don't carry anything. I do carry stuff throughout the airport. So yeah. Give me credit. But anyways, Emily is so good. She helps me just like put everything in the suitcase so perfectly she is like an expert folder i need to learn from her because wow she does such a good job let's go into elena's room i'll show you guys what i've been working on because i'm trying to put together all her outfits for vermont and boston and they're just so darn adorable you guys i can't decide which ones i'm bringing i think i'm probably gonna bring all of them we're only going for five nights six days and this is clearly probably way too many outfits but with a toddler i figured you probably can't have too many Plus we're gonna be taking a ton of pictures, so I need options. And her clothes don't take up too much space anyway, so let me just walk you guys through all of her outfits. I will try to link as much as I can down below because most of this stuff is new. I found the cutest pom-pom hats from Etsy. They do have these exact ones on Etsy, but we'll see if she actually wears them. If I could just keep them, keep it on her for like five seconds for a picture, I would be so happy. I got some really cute stuff from Gap. This cardigan. Oh. So adorable. And then this little two-piece set underneath is also from Gap. And I love the little ruffles on there. Most of this stuff actually is from H&M. These three outfits here are H&M. This is Gap. How pretty is this sweater dress? With the high knee socks. These two are H&M. I thought these would just be like cute comfy outfits to hang out in. This is from Gap. I love this sweatshirt and leggings set. That is so adorable. It's like a sweatshirt dress. This is from the brand called Petite Amali. They are 
they just have the most beautiful beautiful special pieces for little girls and i thought this would be pretty for us to take like more dressed up fall pictures if we're able to in vermont these are some of my favorite little pj sets or just like comfy sets for her at h&m it came in this really pretty like wine burgundy color so i grabbed it for fall this over here is just pajamas and socks but i'm really happy with all these pieces she's gonna look so cute this is kind of what i have so far what i'm packing lots of neutrals as per usual lots of brown tones with black i actually have a couple of like all black looks throw a camel coat over top so that is a little sneak peek of my outfits it's a kind of a mess but in the midst of packing Right now I have chicken in the oven. I'm about to boil some pasta noodles by Jovial. These are the ones I always use. And then I'm going ahead and putting together the pesto. I have a whole box of basil, three garlic cloves, olive oil, a half of an avocado. I'm gonna add a handful of walnuts. And then I think about two teaspoons of salt, um, or maybe a little bit more, because honestly I like, I like it pretty salty and then i'm gonna go ahead and mix this all together and it's all nice and blended and i do add a little bit of water just to make it easier to blend oh my god it tastes so good if you guys follow me you guys know i make this all the time but elena loves pesto pasta just as much as me and that makes me so happy <laughs> We've got pesto pasta, chicken, and salad. Elena is over here already enjoying. I'll show you guys, but I didn't have a shirt on her so she didn't get like even more messy. But yeah, when she's done with stuff, she just chunks it. I don't know what to do about that. It is a couple hours later. Cleaned up Elena, cleaned up the kitchen. I actually had to give Elena a bath. I'm having to give Elena a lot more baths like pretty much every day now. I'm not used to that because I guess before she was like, super mobile she only needed a bath like three times a week or so and now she literally needs one every single day i prayed changed this into something a little bit more lightweight because the jacket that i was wearing earlier was like fleece and it's like 90 degrees <laughs> we are going to target i thought we'd do a little target run i need some things for the trip i actually decided that i do need a third suitcase i should have ordered one like a week ago or something but i didn't um i really wanted another away luggage because that one is our best quality luggage and we just need another one but the only one that they had left was pink and i didn't really want a, like a bubblegum pink suitcase we are gonna go see if they have one at target or if they don't have one there then maybe i'll check walmart and then i needed like a couple other things like a shampoo and conditioner because like a mini one since we're gonna be staying at an airbnb i don't even think i have mentioned in this vlog like why we're going to vermont we just wanted to do a fall trip me and my sisters have never really experienced like true fall in texas we get like two weeks of fall and then it's winter it's so crazy and so short so we're gonna go see some fall foliage hopefully it is supposed to rain so that's like the bummer but we're just gonna try to make the most of it and hopefully maybe it won't rain like all day we'll see we're just gonna hope for the best but yeah i thought I would, we would do a little target run so let's go actually before i leave i wanted to talk to you guys about something that i've been meaning to say that is so important and now that i'm going to target i'm thinking about it we as women moms just women in general honestly have to be like super hyper vigilant when we're in parking lots in public by ourselves i have heard so many horror stories of women and children getting assaulted and kidnapped especially in the target parking lot and that is so scary honestly since i've had elena i've been on the lookout and making sure no one's following me no one's looking at me no one's i'm just like so scared about that i wanted to remind you guys of that just don't be looking down at your phone don't be distracted just make sure that you are very aware of your surroundings because child trafficking is real people are crazy in this world and so i just want all of you guys to be safe the other day actually it was probably like two three weeks ago i was at the barnes and noble parking lot it was probably like midday like 4 p.m and there weren't that many people there the parking lot was pretty empty whenever i came back to my car the parking lot was, like I said, pretty empty, but there had been this one car that came and parked right up next to me, so close to the side where Elena's car seat was that I probably couldn't even open the door 
to like get her in there and like it was just weird that this car came and parked right next to me when there were so many other parking spots available and then whenever I looked in the driver's seat there was this man with a hoodie on and it was super hot in Texas like 99 degrees at the time like so hot like why are you wearing a hoodie you know what I mean like why what are you doing it was just so weird so I, my heart was literally racing I got into this side with Elena I came in locked the doors put her in her car seat on that side and then I climbed up to the driver's seat to not like getting out of my car and I drove off like so fast and I don't know if the guy was even anything sketchy at all could have been nothing but I was not gonna take any chances this world is so scary, so you guys just be careful. First things first, gotta get a new pack of passies so that we can make it through the trip. They do have luggage at Target. Let's see, oh, this looks actually nice. Kind of reminds me of the away one. What do we think, Elena? That one's actually really nice, huh? So it's 179, which is much cheaper than the away one, actually. I think the away one is, I don't know, like. $3.95 or almost $400. We've pretty much gotten everything now, but I did need to pick up a baby like shampoo body wash. And this brand of baby shampoo is my favorite. I either get this one or I get the coconut oil one. They're both so good. It is the next day and I'm currently, well, I pretty much finished putting all my makeup into this makeup bag so that I can pack for Vermont. We're leaving tomorrow. Whenever I pack my makeup, I always like do my makeup and then I can just like put everything in the bag as I'm doing it. That way I don't forget any steps. The only thing I didn't do today is my like eyeshadow and mascara, but I did pack that. I did want to show you guys, I tried out this new highlight. It's not new, it's new to me. It's the Glowgasm Beauty Wand by Charlotte Tilbury. It's a liquid highlight. It is gorgeous, you guys. I'm pretty sure this is gonna probably replace my Fenty Hustla Baby highlight that I've used for two years because you guys know I've been on the hunt for like a good liquid one and this one is so good. Oh my gosh, so good. I will link this below for y'all. I also have been kind of on the hunt for a pretty fall lip liner like lip combo i have on my lips this is uh, makeup forever anywhere caffeine it's a really pretty brown it's like a warm brown tone which is so pretty and then i have honey love by mac as my lipstick and it's gorgeous oh i also got my nails done today i was actually wanting it to be more of like a light warm brown but this is definitely more of like a brownie pink i don't know i wanted it to be a little bit more brown but that's not really what I got. They didn't really have that many options. Next vlog is gonna be a little bit of Vermont, but I think we're gonna be mostly vlogging for the sister channel while we're there, but I do wanna share with you guys a little bit on this channel because I'm just hoping that it's like really cool and I wanna create like a lot of content while we're there. Hello you guys, we actually made it to Vermont. I kind of like lost track and did not finish this vlog. So um, I'm gonna leave it here because we're gonna be vlogging for the sister channel. So make sure to follow us over on that channel. I will leave a link down below for you guys to subscribe because we're gonna have all the cozy fall vibes over here. It's beautiful, crisp weather and we're in a cabin. So this is the cabin. It's so cool. We'll see you guys in that video. Bye.